Welcome to a lesson on lattice paths. The integer lattice is the set of all points in the Cartesian plane or coordinate plane for which both the x and y coordinates are integers. If you like to draw graphs on graph paper, the lattice is the set of all of the intersections of the grid lines. A lattice path is one of the shortest possible paths connecting two points on the lattice, moving only horizontally and vertically. For example, here are three possible lattice paths from the point zero comma zero to the point three comma two. For the first path, starting at zero comma zero, move right two units, up two units, and right one unit. Another path is up two units and right three units. Another path is right one unit, up one unit, right two units, and up one unit. Notice to ensure the path is the shortest possible, each move must be either to the right or up. Additionally, in this case, note that no matter what path we take, we must make three steps to the right and two steps up. No matter what order we take these steps, there will always be five steps, thus each path has length five. Let's consider a counting question. How many shortest lattice paths are there between zero comma zero and three comma two? We could try to draw all of these, or instead of drawing them, maybe we just list which direction we travel on each of the five steps. One path might be right, right, up, up, right, which is the first path shown above. Another path might be up, up, right, 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 which is the second path. Or we might have right, up, right, right, up, which is the third path. How many such strings of R's and U's are there? Well, notice that each of these strings contain five symbols. Exactly three of them must be R's, since our destination is three units to the right. If we used ones instead of R's and zeros instead of U's, then we would just have five bit strings of weight three. We know there are 10 of those, since the number of n bit strings of weight k is equal to n choose k, and five choose three is equal to 10. This also indicates there are 10 lattice paths from zero comma zero to three comma two. So not only does n choose k give us the number of n bit strings of weight k, n choose k also gives us the number of lattice paths of length n containing k steps to the right. The correspondence between bit strings and lattice paths does not stop there. Here's another way to count lattice paths. Consider the lattice shown below where we have the points at zero comma zero, three comma two, as well as point A and point B. Any lattice path from zero comma zero to three comma two must pass through exactly one of the points A and B. Notice there's no way to get to the point three comma two moving vertically and horizontally unless we pass through point A or point B. Notice the point A is four steps away from zero comma zero, and two of them are towards the right. One such path would be up two and right two. The number of lattice paths from zero comma zero to point A is the same as the number of four bit strings of weight two, which would be four choose two, which is equal to six. The point B is four steps away from zero comma zero, but now three of them are towards the right. Again, one example would be starting at zero comma zero, moving right three units, and then up one unit. Because the path has length four, and there are three steps to the right, the number of paths to point B is the same as the number of four bit strings of weight three, which is four choose three, which is equal to four. So the total number of paths to three comma two from zero comma zero is just six plus four, which is equal to 10, again, because all the paths must pass through point A or point B. This is the same way we calculated the number of five bit strings of weight three. So the point is, the exact same reoccurrence relation exists for bit strings and for lattice strings. And therefore, once again, we can determine the number of lattice paths of length n containing k steps to the right by determining n choose k. Whenever we say the number of lattice paths, we are assuming the shortest lattice paths. I hope you found this helpful.